morning, Quinteribles. It's day two. We're heading out of the cafeteria. We're heading the, to a cafeteria? The temperature is too cold today, so we might not head out to the pool today. We were going to, but I think it's just going to be the amusement park today. So what are we doing now? We're going to go get some food, relax ourselves, and then we're going like, to go to the park and have some fun. And I hope we don't get kicked on, kicked on our butts. <laughs> Holy shnikey, look at that thing. Breakfast burrito, what is that, hash browns? Yeah. That's a kid's meal for $2.99. Look at this. Rancho omelet, brown rice, tortillas. This place is called Sunrise Cafe, and it's in Buena Park. It's about a mile or so, maybe two miles from where Knott's is. And uh, we just looked around for a local joint that's not like a you know, corporate or a chain or whatever. And it seems like these people are just independently owned, which is what we like. Wow, check this out. I'll let you know how it is when we're done. Sunrise Cafe. Little hole in the wall jerk over there. So anyway, that was a lovely breakfast. Now here's the thing. These uh, breakfast places that have popped up all over the area, I sort of think they're expensive in general, not just this place, but in general. But that seems to be what the going rate is for breakfast when you go out somewhere. I mean, it's just eggs, you know? But you saw that big omelet that I had. It was a rancho omelet, but it had like steak and enchilada sauce and all kind of stuff on it. And uh, hold on, I gotta wait for uh, Speed Buggy over there. That's Buggy McSpeedy. So Buggy McSpeedy's passing by. Anyway, I had, uh, it was called a Rancho Omelette. Now it was $9.95 and it came with brown rice and tortillas. So it was interesting because even though it was, it, it says home style, it had Asian fusion in it and it looked like Latin fusion of some kind. And I believe it was an Asian family that owns like, not 100% sure. But they did a really good job. So it was nice. The staff was super cool. Everybody was right there with anything you needed. And uh, the food in general was really good. Everybody was happy. And that uh, then I finished mine. I mean, <laughs> look at me. Uh, Lynn didn't finish hers though, so yeah. But that's all right. So we had a good time. Full, happy, fat, happy as they say. I think we're going back to Knott's now. Let's go do this. So this is our day two here at Knott's, and uh, I could swear somewhere along the line there's like a horse. I want to go pet a horse. I think that's what I'm going to do. But this part of the, of the park is where they have like the old school stuff like blacksmiths and all the old ghost town kind of stuff from the old west. No, go back and down slower. Let's see what we got going on here. There it comes. Now it's gone. I'll try it now. Come on. So if you ever, uh, you ever on a train that hits 88 miles an hour and you end up back in the old west, you know how to get water out of the pump. Yeah, it's true. Oh, look at this over here. Got a minor 49er over here. Like that? Hold on, son. There you go, nice. We're wearing matching Reese's shirts today, in case you didn't pick up on that. But like I said, I think there's horses over there. I want to go pet one. Hey partner, how you doing? Good. Yeah, my name is Santa Joe. Uh, I just want to stay out here. What was that? He doesn't want to go to jail. You want to stay out here? Yeah. I think they're playing poker. It's like a gunfight at the OK Corral. <laughs> Can 
continuing my tradition of getting selfies with live animals. There's a horse. Very cool, huh? And there's Clark. Hey, Clark. Ah, oh, I got the pet a horse. There we go. Beautiful animal. Look at that. Hey, Clark. How you doing? Same me and Clark there. We're, we're buds now. And that's Theodore. There's my bro. Oh, there he is. Beautiful boy. Got it. Ian, what happened? We tried to rob the bank, but they wouldn't let us. They wouldn't let us rob the bank. <laughs> I, know, oh, I, man. I know there's another bank in town. We're going to have to find, go, go ask find a say, sheriff. Hey, how am I supposed to rob you? No, you go say it. Why not? It's your idea. No, you said it's yours. You said it's what, so you have what kind of Old West bank robber are you? You're going to say please? Go ride the horse inside, man. <laughs> this way. Come on, guys, get over. Third attempt at robbing this bank. Oh, no, go. Go. Go help them rob the bank. Go help them. They're about to get their money. We're here to rob the bank! Yeah. <sighs> Alright. I need a few things first. Can I see your gun, please? I know. I don't know, gun. Yeah. Well, you can't rob the bank with a finger. <laughs> hey, Levi, go like this. Go like this. Huh? Put your finger under your shirt. Oh. Go, 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 go. Go right here. <laughs> Hold your hands up, sir. Say, stick them up. Stick them up. Well, the only problem is, I don't know the combination to the safe. <laughs> We're here to rob the bank, so. Well, then go get the dynamite and blow it up, boys. Hey, guys, you hey, he's in heaven there. General Store might have some dynamite. I don't know why I'm being. So at this point, we crossed over from the Old West Town, now we're on a boardwalk. Yeah, no, no, 
feeling that. You know, the thing is spinny rides. Just can't do it. But they have this one here. IQ and Key are going on that one momentarily. That's the one where you have a little fin up in the front where you can control how far out you go. Yeah. Me? I'll be here by the water. So this is the boardwalk section, as I was saying. Johnny Rockets over there. I guess it's recreating like the 50s boardwalk experience. There's a cool looking coaster over there though. Let me go check that out. So yeah, but this is the boardwalk area. All right, so you can win an upgrade of some kind, a fast pass, a free game. Here, I'll hold that for you. Give me your game card. All right, go get a good spin on it, man. All right, let's see what he wins. All right, if you take a ride, it's valid for two riders. It's a fast lane of ticket. All right, let's see. Ready? That's it. Supreme Scream. Supreme Scream. So when he spun the wheel earlier, he won free ticket to this VR thing, it's virtual reality, and apparently we gotta shoot stuff. It's like a scientist. And... There you go too. We have one free play for him. What do you think, man? Got Mr. VR over here. Ready? Uh oh, he's gonna put this thing on me next. <laughs> So, as you know, the Quinteros always end up in an arcade. That's just kind of our thing. Ian loves the ticket machines. He just won 125 on the first try. And that's how we roll here. So this is the arcade here at Knox. Your standard issue kind of stuff over here. A little bit of tennis and ski ball. I gotta go find a key master because I gotta settle the score with key master. Yes, 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 yes. So, that is Knott's Berry Farm Amusement Park in the background you saw there. There's the Knott's Berry Hotel. We're in the parking lot. We uh, just messed around the park a little bit today and we decided to bail out of the park and we went back to the hotel and we were in the pool for a little while. We were swimming and just taking it easy and resting. And now we're on a quest to find, like our breakfast today, an independent pizza joint, which we're probably not gonna find. So we're gonna go to like a corporate pizza joint. But from what I hear, the reviews are good. So we're going to see how it goes now going out for dinner. So probably after this, we're going to wrap up. And that's going to be the end of that story for Knott's Day. Well, it's technically day three, but it's you know here at Knott's Day, too. Pizza time. We have pepperoni. What is that? So that's a $9.99 pizza, huh? I think my hand is bigger than this pizza. That's interesting. So we're at a place called Shakey's. So we're at a place called Shakey's. Which is probably what my stomach's gonna be after eating this, we're not sure. <laughs> but he's already tearing it. So. Would you like some cheese on your pepperoni? But apparently they have these things called potato mo mojos, which are supposed to be like very famous, so we're waiting on those. Appreciate They're arriving now. Hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it, here we go. Okay, thank you. Of course, thank you guys. Last time, awesome. may I just ask you guys for the number, please? There you Thank go. You Thank you very much. All right. Potato Mojos.
You like them? All right, ready? <coughs> yeah, they are pretty good. So guess what? We're back. That's the cool part about the season passes is that you can kind of come and go as you please, which is what we've been doing. And uh, we thought we were going to be finished for the day. And everybody's leaving, I think. They're open until about 11 or 10, I'm not 100% sure. But we, we're on a mission. We want a boysenberry ice cream waffle cone and possibly a boysenberry churro for our dessert because that pizza at Shakey's was... Well, how do I put this? Ian says it was terrible. <laughs> Ian says it was terrible. Six-year-old says it was terrible. You know if a six-year-old doesn't like pizza, there's a problem, right? Yeah. It was, I didn't think it was that bad, but still, it was just not the best experience ever, but. All right, so we're on a quest now. We're gonna go find this. Mission accomplished. That is a boysenberry waffle cone, Kia Killjoy, IQ. This here is a boysenberry stuffed churro. I already took a bite of it. It's lovely. Go for it, IQ. Okay. Hold this one correctly. Take it in. We'll join that ice cream currently in progress. So here's the deal, guys. Um, this is gonna be probably it for the night. We're gonna maybe do one more train ride just to get the night atmosphere going. I love being at theme parks at night. I think it's really, it's fun because everybody's all tired and run down and everybody's just kind of eating and hanging around and nobody wants to move fast. It's, it's kind of a fun time. So, uh, had a busy day, did a lot of things. We're gonna finish our dessert. We're gonna be on our merry way, so. This concludes Knott's Berry Farm Day 2. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe button, whole deal, bell notification, you know what to do. And tomorrow and, uh, will be day three. Tomorrow will be day three. We're going to do a little bit more stuff. We're not 100% sure yet. We're going to see how the weather shapes up. But outside of that, rolling on with Knott's Berry Farm. Commander Q, 